This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Slimy Animations. Leave a comment down below if you have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we got Rapashi and Millie. Rapashi doesn't know Millie exists, and Millie is absolutely mortified of Rapashi. She's like, what the heck is that? That's a whole dinosaur. But Millie, you are a true dinosaur. You're more related to dinosaurs than Rapashi. So what are you talking about? Welcome back to the fish fam, Cory gang. I'm the head Cory Doris. Second in command is Rapashi, and Millie is the lieutenant, colonel. Commander. Millie's the real one in command, let's be honest. My bros, how is it going? May frares and sirs, very important, and non-binaries. Okay. Welcome back to Fish for Thought. I am your most dedicated host of all time. This is crazy. I feel like I'm running a zoo up in here. No one's eating anyone today, okay? I mean, I'm... I might. Good morning and hope your week's going just fine, starting your Monday off just right. If you're in Australia, happy Tuesday. And if you're in India, good night. Uh, hope you sleep well. Fish tank rev- What are you doing, Doc? What are you doing? You're hungry, aren't you? It's feeding time. View. That Lucky Charm cereal pebbles really pulled the tank together. Woo, this is what I've been waiting for. This was all about. Millie! Mwah, just beautiful gar. When the fish cannot turn around and is more than half the length wise of your fish tank, you know you're doing something absolutely right. Just a pinnacle of human evolution and decision making. What you don't want to do is to give your pets a good life and enough room. Millie has a whole house in a very expensive real estate market. And the cream of the crop Lucky Charm cereal pebbles adds such a finesse. To add the cherry on top, that's a whole garami. Might be one of those yellow garamis, maybe an opaline garami. They could get up to par with the gar. This is a crazy tank. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. Oh, and there's a school of like serpe tetras or what the hell? Yo, this is so misleading. You got the centerpiece fish. Trust me, this is a very, very centerpiece. To be honest, it do doesn't get as centerpiece as that. And then you got another centerpiece fish. Who says you can only have one? Who says you can only torture one fish at a time? This guy's a amateur. The garami can very clearly still turn around in this tank. Like I always say, if you're gonna do something, like I always say, if you're gonna do something, do it wrong all the way. <laughs> nope. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a pleco just buried in the gravel because that's how they bury their dead. That's how fish abusers bury their dead. Hey guys, quick pause. This episode of FDR is sponsored by Aquarium Co-op and their awesome, amazing nets. This one is for my fishies. This one, this one is for Rapashi. And this one's for Millie, cause she got a fat ass. Don't you Millie, you got a fat ass. Yes you do. Just marvel at the construction of this thing. Like it's solid. Have you used nets that are just flimsy and they just break on you and bend? Well try to bend this. I can't bend it and I work out. I lift really heavy weights, five whole pounds sometimes. Nope, it goes together. See, very modular, yes. AquariumCoop.com, get yourself some nets. They are, I would say, arguably one of the most important things in your fish room. How are you supposed to keep fish without fish nets? You're grabbing them with your nasty little hands, little... <laughs> AquariumCoop.com. Go get yourself some quality built nets. This is amazing. Look, I can't even break this if I was five. Fantastic looking aquarium sent in by Dennis Aquarium Augustus. Is your middle name actually aquarium? Cause that would be completely sick. I would want to change my middle name as well to aquarium ASAP. Right now my middle name is simply big. I actually changed my nickname once already um, from Harry. Yep. Mm -hmm. The giant valis, ah, uh, that's incredible. That's the best effect you can achieve with giant valis. Super long valis in area covering the top. We got an assortment of swords. We got Sicilia flora and some Pogostemma stellatus maybe. Pogostemma octopus, some Ludwigia in there. Healthy school of cardinal tetra, some panacories, Cory gay, pencil fish, and a centerpiece gourami hanging out in the back. This is how you do a proper centerpiece. Imagine a gar more than half the length of this <laughs> fish tank. That's crazy, y'all. That's mad tripping, dog. Light sand substrate, wah, well, very aesthetic. 4.5 out of 5, keep up the great work. No comment. I help blind people, I give them independence. I protect people, I help them walk around without fear of criminals. 
Not the German shepherds I've seen around. <laughs> I flare at snails. Oh, round of applause then. Yes, Millie, this gentleman flares at snails. Them snails need their egos checked. Some of them are breeding way too much, and some of them don't even need a partner to breed. Like, how much do you love yourselves to become asexual? Snails don't care about other people, confirmed. Thank you, betta fish all over the world. You're doing God's work. Scientists have discovered that on occasion, an octopus will punch a fish for no reason other than spite. F them fish. <laughs> I didn't see that in Finding Nemo 2. If this is true, this is absolutely hilarious. Why are octopi so salty? Maybe because they live in the ocean <laughs> Y'all need to calm down with your punching fish and having eight hearts and blowing up smoke up your ass. What kind of sturges sent in this tank? It's a cool little beginner escape. You got some live plants, which I love, and some artificial decoration. We see that skull over there. Temperature of the light is a bit warmer. Millie does not like this tank. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just chill. The betta fish looks... The betta fish looks healthy, as far as I can tell. You got a heater in the tank. You got a filter. You want to go on the other shoulder? Is that what you want? Oh, that's Millie's I want to take a shower noise. Millie wants a bird bath. I will give her a bird bath after this. Could you wait like 20 more minutes? <laughs> Thank you. Three out of five, needs a bit more cleaning, a little bit more finesse. Check out some aquascaping videos for some very quick tips. Basically focus your attention on one part of the fish tank and build it up from there. Bro, this is the best. Common diseases with guppies is gonna be dick. And <laughs> who did this? Who did this? I think this is KG Tropicals. Uh, don't quote me on that. I've definitely seen this guy around and I probably watched a few videos. I think he makes videos with his wife. I hope that's his wife. Again, don't quote me on this. There are a lot of fish keeping channels and I can't keep up with all of them. I'm sure this guy's great. And I'm super sorry for this very unfortunate caption. You should check out some of my captions. I don't know who's auto-generating these. Probably the auto-generator. People my age taking picture of a baby. Me taking pic- that- I mean that's a good picture. Not gonna lie, that's a good picture. This is actually just me. This is literally me. I'm at that age where like I should be a dad. I actually wanted to be a dad when I was 20. That's crazy, right? It's because Naruto and Hinata- Ugh, never mind. And I'm literally taking pictures of fish and plants all day. That hits a little hard. That hits a lot hard. I don't even want a baby though. I want a cat. You hear that, Millie? You're screwed. <laughs> what a terrible person. Look how little water the fish has. Look at how depressing that is. This guy literally thought he was doing something. He thought it was one of those cute pictures where he's looking into his fish tank and you get a side profile of his face and of the fish and they're looking at each other. Oh, what a great owner this guy is and he loves his fish so much. Clearly not. Love hashtag care under this post. Hashtag love hashtag care. Fish tank sent in on Discord by shrimp. Lovely little beginnings of a hair grass carpet. I think it's starting to propagate for you. And I like what you did with the Anubias and the lilies. You kind of mix them up. They do have similar textures and growth patterns. There's even a little crypt in there. So you're using similar plants together for a very nice texture, very nice effect. This tank probably isn't very finished yet. There's duckweed on top. There's some valleys in the background. Hopefully that propagates. Got the sponge filter, very clean backdrop, which is black. Got the heater. Got the dark colored betta fish looking pretty happy. Looks like it's flaring a little bit. Come at me, bro. Oh, got an Endler's Library in there. All right, five out of five. Just kidding. Needs a bit more hardscape and hopefully uh, I would like to see the plants grow out a little bit more. For now, a solid 4.17298. Keep it up. Kids, dad, can we get ice cream? Dad, we have ice cream at home. The ice cream at home. Mmm. No, I actually had this and I put it on toast like it was butter and I ate it for like my 2K sub special. Like, why did I do that for 2K? And like nobody watched it. Okay, not nobody. Most of you OGs will know exactly which video I'm talking about. But if you don't, I mean, if my lazy ass gets to it, um, it's probably a card over here. I don't know. Are you going to do it, Chris? Do it. Put the card here. Don't be a lazy ass like Millie. Millie, all you do is preen yourself and scream at me. Kinda of fishy sent this in on Discord and uh, kinda awesome more like. Dude is going wild. I've never seen a Lodia use like that. It's just bursting out from the back, coupled with the Panata Fida. Uh, granted, this photo's not the best clarity. Discord might have destroyed the quality on that, but man, we got a centerpiece. What is that? A paradise fish? And then we got some, a nice little school of ember tetras. The textures are fantastic and crazy. We got cribs in the back coming out from the shadows. We got a tiny bit of a dwarf sag sort of carpet going on. I think it's oko stone for hardscape and structure as well. Hey, five out of five. You know what's up? Poor goldfish. Two goldfish and two tanks. I travel too much so need to find them a new home. Also have travel tank.
this picture is kind of like too perfect. These two fish are like looking into the lens going, is, is this guy serious? He's actually trying to sell us off. The new owner can't be worse than this guy. I mean, look at our helm. How did he get such a perfect picture? Like the fish looks so done. I'm holding on to hope that this is the travel tank. Oh yeah, true. If this is the main tank, what in the world is a travel tank? Like a little pouch? One of those alcohol flasks? Marty42 on Discord. Why do I feel like I already reviewed this tank? But I'm just taken away by the pearl weed because pearl weed takes me back is one of my favorite carpeting plants. It's done so well for me and I still use it to this day for a few of my tanks and ecospheres. Some people have told me in the past that pearl weed is high tech, hard to propagate and hard to grow, especially if there's no CO2. They couldn't be more wrong. This thing, I mean, there's a reason why the, the word weed is in his name. Looks like a Nubius Barteri, very healthy, very green, right in the background. Picasso, I like it. 4.75 out of 5. Keep it up. Tank itself doesn't look too bad, but man, really pushing the limits of that tank and stand. Ah, oh, I feel like I have one of these tables and I can feel the feet just wobbling. Dude, why? Ooh, yeah, no sir. I'd rather have it on the floor than that sneeze away from falling table. Like one COVID symptom away. Why don't you? Like, that's a good point. Why don't you just put it on the ground? If you put it on the ground, it has a lower chance of it going through the ground. I'm seriously pretty psyched about the blue mystery snail. When your plans come with snails, Ugh, damn it. But a blue mystery snail. Let's go. I've never had this happen to me. It's always like pond snails and Malaysian trumpet snails. At a time, I did think Malaysian trumpet snails look cool. I mean, don't they? They look like a trumpet. Waiting for this day to happen to me where I accidentally get a blue mystery snail. Yo, welcome back to the end of the channel. Millie, Rapashi, and your boy Chris. Hope... Uh, your Monday's starting off just right. And that this FTR episode helped your Monday go even better, homies. Again, thank you for making it all the way till the end, pushing that algorithm. You guys are the true supporters of the channel. And here's the question of the week, Kotua. Please keep commenting your suggestions on what to actually call Kotua. For now though, the question of the week is, what is the best fish? Man, what kind of question is that? What is your favorite fish of all time? Go, Kotua. It's kind of catching on though. It's kind of catchy. Kotua. Kotua. Maybe I'll just keep it at Kotua. <laughs> Everyone in the comments. Ah, oh, Chris, we we suggested all these things. Why'd you ask us to, or for our suggestions if you can consider them? All right, if you enjoyed this episode of Fish Tank Review, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that with my shoal at. I carry my fin rod from Carasiformes to Parachirodon, hold on There's not another fish that you can wish for Lit fam says I finna one, I finna gone Three days without fur, I'm an addict like fanatic I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt We came to play, came to silence, gang